Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be part three of my makeup declutter series. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on two drawers because they're kind of smaller. Um, unfortunately, I don't see a lot of things moving or leaving just because uh, the drawers consist of all my makeup palette, like eye palettes, as well as any new product that I haven't even opened yet. Um, but I wanted to share this with you guys again. Maybe I will find a couple things to get rid of. Um, if you have not been watching the whole declutter series, I will link the playlist down below. So you can go check out the first and the second one and also be able to see the other ones that are after this one um but not much to this intro we're just gonna get started so uh let's go so a recap of our last couple we did the top here uh we did this first drawer here and now we are going to be working on this drawer here which is all of my like eye palettes along with this drawer here which is all new product um, which I, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to really be getting rid of anything, but we are going to pull everything out of this drawer first, lay it out, look at it and see what we decide. Then we'll move on to this one. So let's get it all laid out. All right. So everything here is laid out. Um, so up here, these are just some like, uh, gold eye masks. This is the, I actually don't remember where I got this. I feel like I got this from a box. Um... Hmm. Baked Bakery, um, Beauty Bakery Proof in the Pudding Eyeshadow Palette. Uh, I think I've used this once or twice. It's super nice, so I do want to hang on to that for sure. But anyways, so we then have my Morphe. This is the 39A palette. I've used it, like, once or twice. Like, it still has the package on it, but I've barely used it. Uh, Dose of Colors Baked Browns. Never used it. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Spray. I think I've used it once. Uh, these are all my ColourPop palettes here. So this is the Zoella ColourPop Brunch Date. This is such a nice palette. I've barely used it though. Uh, the ColourPop Designer. I've used this one a handful of times. I really like this palette. This is one of my favorites. The Sweet Talk palette. Um, definitely really summery. Pink's really pretty. Uh, the Brown Sugar palette. This is definitely one of my go-tos just because it has like really nice browns and stuff it's hard to do this with one hand uh, and then this is my ColourPop made palette so it does have a mix of ColourPop single eyeshadows um, and then it just has like other ones that I've just thrown in here uh, I have my Naked Heat palette my Naked Original palette this I've had since 2014 <laughs> don't hate me uh, this is the Revolution Soap X that I got from where did I get this I think I got this from a swap box actually uh, that I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Soft Glam and then I just have a couple Body Shop ones here this was the Body Shop's Christmas palette this is Bold as Nature uh, super cute it was their Christmas palette uh, this last year and then this is the Body Shop 01 Bronze shimmer wave this is a really nice kind of like bronzy highlighter um so that is the overview looking at it directly <sighs> unfortunately i don't think i'm going to be getting rid of anything because i do want to try all this like a lot of these things i haven't even touched or tried um but i'm gonna just kind of open them up look at them and kind of make my decision based off of there okay so like expected nothing is really going these two here have never been open never been used i will try to sell them um but i'm not going to cheap out on them if they don't sell if no one is interested then i'm keeping them for sure um the naked this one i think i'm going to add into the products i want to use up which is all these products here so make sure to look out for that video so i'm just going to throw that there um the modern renaissance is probably my most used palette there's four colors that have reached like pan and are almost gone um, the rest of them I really just want to hold on to because they're so nice and I want to use them. <sighs> so we're going to hold on to them. I'm going to try to use them more. That is my goal for the next couple of weeks is to start getting in a consistent routine of doing my makeup and just getting ready for the day. Um, I'll throw these to the side and try to sell them. I have a couple other items here that I'm going to add into like kind of selling. Don't mind the mess. So yeah. We are going to keep them, so I'm going to throw them away, and we're going to take out the next drawer. Alright, so this is all the stuff that is brand new, never opened, never been used. Um, I'll start up here. So these are all lip things. So this here is an ombre lip thing. It has two lipsticks and two lip liners, or just one lip liner? Uh, I think one lip liner. I think it's just one yeah so one lip liner have never opened it never used it i think i got it from a box swap it's just been sitting uh, i just purchased this guy that i'm really excited to try it's nude by nature um in the shade 
O2 blush. It's just like a pretty nude pink. Super excited to try that. Uh, this is from Alex's mom for Christmas. This is the Holiday Kisses. Uh, I don't know the shades. But they're really cute. I really like the dog on this one. Super cute. This is the Dose of Colors Charm. Um, probably gonna get rid of this. It's not my color. I'll probably add it to the cell pile. Um, these are like powders. So this is the Kat Von D setting powder. The Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Body Shop O2 Powder. This is just a back stock because I'm almost out of mine. These I'm all keeping, obviously. Some face wipes that I just haven't used yet because I haven't needed them. Um, brow stuff. So this here is a brow kit that I've never even opened. I don't even know what's in it. Um, I'll probably keep it because I want to use it. This is the Revolution High Brow, High Brow Gel Cannabis Sativa Eyebrow Thing. Mine's almost empty so I'll probably use that pretty quick. Then this is the uh, Winky Lux uh, Unibrow. It is a universal brow pencil. I'll keep that. Um, this is the Marbled Illuminating Blusher. I'm gonna have to open that and see. Um, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Keeping that. I've always wanted it. I haven't tried it though. These are all my mascaras I currently have. I have the Seraphine Botanicals Quinoa and Boba. Or Biobab Sculpting Strengthening Mascara. The, what are you? Too Faced? Yeah, Too Faced. Damn Girl. Um... Thrive Cosmetics, um, what are you, um, Ipsy and Betty Bop Mascara, the Ico Black Magic Tarte, Big Ego, um, I want to try them all so I'm going to keep them, never been opened so they should still be good. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner that, uh, I was sent in a PR package, this is in the brown one, I haven't used it yet, still in the box. I'm going to keep it because I do want to get into trying to use browns again. This is the Hank and Henry. This is just an eyeliner, yeah. It's just a liquid eyeliner. This is the Body Shop Black Eyeliner. Um, then over here we have some palettes. So this is the Ramel Magnifies, uh, Magnifies Spice Edition. This looks exactly like the Naked Heat palette. Um, this is the Revolution, Revolution Makeup this is the Redemption palette, Iconic 2. Not really my color, so I'm probably going to just say bye to that one and add it to my list of things I'm going to get rid of. This is the Celestial Cylinder Dominique Cosmetics. I It is really nice palette. It's just not colors I would use, so I'm probably going to try to sell this one as well. Um, these are the Rodeo Monroe Lashes. Super, super cute. Super, like, not so... Um, how would I put it? They're just simple so keeping those and then this is the dr brandt luminizer primer i uh, haven't tried it yet so i want to but i'm just gonna kind of do an overview open some things and make some decisions and i will be right back okay so update we're not gonna keep this guy and then neither of these guys none of these are open again so i'm gonna try to sell them um and then everything is already put back um, it looks a lot better. It's not as full. The rest of the stuff in here I'm not even going to go through because I know I'm keeping it. It's just like, uh, <sighs> like special makeup. Got some deodorant, some car stuff, and that is it. Um, so that is all for part three of my declutter series. Um, and I will see you guys in part four.